women in service. Latest numbers from the VA show by 2040, women will represent one in five veterans. And while their contributions date back to the American Revolution, their roles haven't always been as rightfully touted. And one museum in the Carolinas is working hard to change that. Fox Carolina's Arthur Mondale reports from Brevard. Uh, you know, you've got to have faith in yourself. You've got to understand that you can do it. But you also have to have that opportunity. City of Brevard Mayor Maureen Kobloff has been in office for just over a year. And she's committed to making her city a place where everyone thrives. We not only have to break the stereotypes that others think about us, but we have to break the stereotype that we think of ourselves. A quote she lived by for three decades in a different uniform. I'm a retired Navy captain. I served for 30 years. She entered in 1979. Both the draft and Vietnam War were over, and the military was dealing with a personnel shortage. And they were not getting enough male volunteers. And so they opened career fields in the military to women that had never been opened before. With an MBA in hand, she entered as an IT communication officer and led fleets around the world. I ran uh, shore and fleet communications. And by the time she retired in 2009? I ran naval communications for half the Navy, for half the world, from North Dakota to Bahrain. A milestone for Mayor Koploff and women in the military. And although you don't have the outright hostility that I experienced back in 79 and for the first decade, really, you know, there still is an underlying, almost subconscious stereotyping of women that is still out there. And it's an eye-opening narrative you'll hear inside the walls of the Veterans History Museum of the Carolinas. It's about time let's give them the recognition they deserve. It's personal for Emmett Cassie Atto. His daughter is a West Point grad and a decorated combat aviation officer who served in Afghanistan. I'm talking about full-out combat. Yet this museum curator, founder, and father doesn't believe her story and others like hers receives the attention and recognition they deserve. Women's blood was shed as well in all the wars. All the way, you know, I mean, you can go all the way back to the Revolutionary War, to the Civil War, to the, you know, to the Spanish-American War, to the World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, you know, the war on terror. Women shed their blood for this country. They needed to be recognized. Simple as that. In an effort to share these stories, the Veterans History Museum of the Carolinas has the women's exhibit featuring women like Mayor Kovloff. I think it matters a lot. The museum features thousands of military artifacts worn and used in combat. But amongst the uniforms, weapons, and vehicles are faces, names, and stories. I want the young girls to see that women did play a part in our freedom. I mean, like I said, honor, educate. It's education that's being digested. Latest numbers from the Department of Defense reveals women today make up 17% of the active duty military population. The numbers are even higher amongst the state and national guards where the number stands at 21%. Emmett Cassie Eto believes more education not only boosts recruitment prospects, but also changes national defense narratives. It might not be for all, but it might be for some. Women have got to be continuing to push. They've got to have that faith in themselves. Arthur Mondale, Fox, Carolina News.